Since there's something here, it's gonna turn blue. Hey girls, question for you. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you find, like, what are you guys learning? What are you taking away? And do you think this will help you in the future? What am I finding out? Like, I learned how to program. I think it's really cool. And like I said before, I think it'll help if I get into animation and stuff. Is that what you're interested in? Yeah. And how do you think it's going to help? Well, just knowing, like, the basic format of code and, like, these different programs, they're probably all pretty similar. Mm -hmm. So, like, basically knowing the general format and, like, how it works and how you have to program it to do all these different things, I think that's going to help. Have you, you had to do any problem solving in class? Well, actually, yes, when it comes to figuring out what I've messed up as some <laughs> code thing. Like, if it's, if it's not working, then I have to figure out what's wrong with it. Okay, and do you find it pretty interesting what you're doing? <laughs> you've been learning in technology? I've been learning how to program things and also how to take these big problems of the world and solve them in very logical ways, which kind of changes my view on big problems now. So, for example, if a pencil doesn't work, I won't just throw away and get a new one. I'll think of ways that it could get changed to make it not break. Is that a little bit way of thinking differently than you have in different other classes? Yes, for some things it has helped me think differently about them. Okay, so what would you say, um, do you think it's going to help you in the future? Definitely, yes. And how would you think so? Um, well, anytime I see a big problem, maybe, it'll, maybe I'll come up with a dimension in the world because I see a problem and I think of different ways you can fix it. Great, thank you. Kira, what are you working on now? I am working on programming the robot for, to make it, if it senses something, it will turn away from it or stop, oh, wait, and then if it doesn't feel anything, it will just keep moving forward. Okay, and have you been doing some problem solving? Yeah, it's been hard to figure out what I've been doing wrong when I've done stuff, and then having to figure out the right code to use to make it do what I want it to do. And do you think what you're doing is going to help you in the future? Yes. And how? Um, I want to, some of the programming stuff we're using, I want to be an Imagineer for Disney, and they do so much crazy stuff with the technology that I'll probably end up using it there. Great, thank you. So what do you think of technology class so far? I think it's fun. Whoa. It's something I look forward oh, to, so cool. um, because right now, actually, Andrew Spencer and I are making, like, a train thing out of, like, two thumb wheels and Legos combined, they can hold things. So that's exciting, each class we're finding new things and new problems to fix and solve. So what kind of problems have you come across so far? Um, sometimes, like, just in the building itself, the wheels are too high or certain things don't turn correctly. Um, we had to redo all our wheels this time because we realized that the thigh mill was too tall and so the connectors were connecting with the thigh mills were not leveled enough. So we had to redo the tires to fit that. Is there something that you like really believed to be true before, but after doing this project, you're like, oh, is that how that works? Yeah, I thought that when you come, when you have two thigh meals together, it would make you go twice as fast. But in fact, it actually just it doesn't make you go twice as fast. It's the same speed. It's just able to it's just able to do more things because it, it can like pull more together if they go the same way. They just won't go twice as fast. Like they won't go like 100 miles an hour. And do you think the stuff that you're learning in class is going to be relevant to you later? Yes, I definitely think so. Like the, um, was it the design thinking, or that is, you can be useful anywhere. Um, especially, yeah, it's just for coming up with new ideas, making new products. When you're just trying to, like pretty much any job that's using, it's creative job, you're actually using that. Have you used anything that you've learned in class here in any of your other classes so far? When what you taught us is the yes and, mm -hmm. where you don't want to say no, but that like destroys someone else's thought, or like no and, or yes, but mm -hmm. it's best to use yes and, because then you combine everyone's ideas. So have you been I've used using that? that? I've used that, I've been using that a lot. And have you found it effective? Yes. Okay, let me try. <laughs> Because it's, it's not, not in right. all...
Because right now it's sandwich. Oh, it's the carpet. Okay, uh, put it on this table. Okay. See, I knew that.